what important moving forward? Um, well, as I said, last map didn't really have an effect at all. Uh, but that being said, a lot of this stuff can be very map dependent. So let's see what they bring out. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another uh, Nomad ban. Something yep. that teams, you know, definitely struggle with here on a map where there's so many runouts. But Jackal will be the first one. Kind of surprising, but kind of not. Mm. I, Jackal is one of those operators that not only his gadget is mostly useful, but he brings, you know, the, the uh, smoke grenades and, of course, the pocket shotgun. And then, yes, it is that Nomad ban once again from Power Plays. That was pretty much the exact same band. Will we see a similar storyline of the one? No, so Valk. Valk's going to be taken out. Obviously, Very common band here on yep. Consulate. Denying a lot of that information coming through from the defensive side and Mirror as well. So a lot of intel gathering gone from the side of the defense, but that's probably what we expected to see. So yeah, pretty similar ban phase, and then of uh, well, in the fact that we have the nomad in the mirror off the table, but then you know the map dependent operators have really changed over. So Maverick, he's so powerful in Clubhouse, not banned out this time. It's going to be the Jackal instead, mm -hmm. and the Valkyrie so powerful on this map, seeing as it's so square, and when you run out, you can get a lot of you know a lot of people that are repelling in one angle rather than yeah. having to find several angles. So uh, Valkyrie taken off the board instead of the Echo, which. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, you've got to decide between Valkyrie, Mirror, and Echo which one you don't want to deal with, and it's going to be Valkyrie, Mirror. Do you think that that's going to affect the defense side? Do you think we'll see Echo really play too much? Um, It really depends on the bomb site once again. So I believe top floor is the first. Yeah, you hardly ever see an Echo round on this bomb site. However, down in Garage, it's quite a lot of Echo presence. Okay. And we'll have to wait and see what the full effect of this will be as we do head upstairs first. Now, on the back of that first matchup, Oddity really looking to get these rounds on the board early. They can't they can't afford to have a slow start, I feel. Even if, you know, the first couple of rounds go the way of power plays, they have to find a way to almost instantly respond. And I'm sure they will. Like you were saying before, very headstrong coming through from Oddity. And Raven, obviously, being in the game, might actually offer a lot of the in-game calls, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, of course, is that Todd plays a very different role to what um, Raven does. So, yep. uh, he, you know, he's on the operators. Like, Todd plays the... the um, the uh, Jaeger here. Yep. But, you know, Todd's just, uh, you know, a lot more aggressive. And, and I think he he just reads the game very well. But speaking of aggression, there's something early. Vinny to find Ocean Man. So, we did see this before in, in map one where <laughs> where they lost a lot of the, uh, the the early players. But power plays continuously brought it back. Now, whether we're... Actually able to uh, see the ex oh feels bad oh oh <laughs> what <laughs> bit of drone parkour why not you, when you mix your uh, drone with some Spider Man <laughs> uh, wall climbing drone oh usually down below and he's gonna find the wall bang there onto Raven beautiful stuff there from Musley great information surely they knew someone was downstairs this. Staircase is going to be set completely on fire here, Manic. No one's playing around it, however. But I think Vinny took a lot of punishment. But again, this is what we saw from power plays in map number one, which is not being afraid to completely open up those areas. You know, yeah, sure, we're using the utility, but I tell you what, we're taking a lot of space, a lot of room to move now. They've got the information as well to... I think it is Vinny in that back closet there. They had the drone. They could see his feet. Yes, there we go. So you know exactly where he is, but finding the angle onto him is a different story here. Yeah, that's a really tough ask, but they actually managed to flush him out. Unfortunately, Musley not going to be able to capitalize on that area. It's going to be red to take Casper down. We might not have expected. Actually, no, that was going to be opened up by him. So, sweet revenge. Yeah, that's normally not a fight you'd consider winning, but this is where it gets scary for Oddity. They're in a two on four, and we saw what happened last time. Oh. There's mangoes to compound that. 2v3. Manic, I'm uh, starting to feel rather worried. 
Yeah, the, the small glimmer of belief creeps back in at this point. Bundy just taking a sweet time to clear on through. The problem is going to be its pulse. The information is going to be ridiculous, but the pre-fire was there. The information, does he find the kill, Bundy? No, not just yet. Still being him. able to down him. Monkey, it's coming back, and I'm starting to believe. Uh, this is some deja vu. I feel like we've been here before, Manic. Vinny is very lit. The health oh. advantage does lay on the side of Oddity, but there we go. No oddity throw once again. They're going to close it out this time. The thing was, Bandit was actually... You know, there was a chance. There's a chance, yeah. but that's okay. We won't... Uh, rather, Bundy, sorry. Almost that chance to, to open that first kill coming through. Now we will head to Cafeteria Garage and maybe the Echo pick that we were very softly talking about before. So, are we going to see an Echo? I wouldn't be surprised if he was sixth picked, but mm -hmm. uh, normally, because he's so banned, sometimes teams don't really have him as their operator that they would want to have in their strats. So, the Maestro looks like he's going to be the one to stay in as that denial. Because Echo and Maestro feel very similar roles. Mm -hmm. I'll have to wait and see, truly, for Oddity. Whether this is the start that they were looking for, whether they're going to be able to work off the back. We had mentioned before, obviously, such a dominant start from that attacking side. And they actually do pick up Gridlock. I don't think we really touched on that just then, but they are going to be picking up Gridlock. Might assist in that roam, well, rather flank clear. Yeah, well, you know, that's something we saw. Um, who was it? It was Fury attempt, trying to force out a Gridlock here on this map. And... You know, Dev and I were very critical of it because nothing they were doing was working at all. And, um, you know, the, the track stingers were easily countered by the defenders. But it could be a different story here. Got a hope now for their sake that it is Raven on that very high roam game. And again, it looks like they're going to be pretty comfortable to do this. Actually, this is not what we saw Oddity do in the previous. It was more so power players being comfortable too. But two players oh. through. Oh, my word. <laughs> Bundy with the angle. Brief fire. Why not? That's a clencher, isn't it? When you see the bullets fired through at you oh, outside no. and you, you're like, oh, no. Not again. <laughs> Don't do this. So. Well, it's going to be, of course, a top-down clear here. Oh. Usually, he just dry peeks that and wins the fight under God Legion. Absolutely shut down. Vinny, of course, is up here still. I think they did have the info on him. You can hear that drone. Are we going to see maybe some grenades? Raven's come up to assist, in fact. And, you know, Raven thinking he's about to win this gunfight, especially with the amount of HP. Ooh. Very dangerous as Muesli already had the line. Doesn't hit the shot now. Just needs to be careful. It's going to be Mangos finding both players heading down the exit stairs. And maybe some goo mines to be deployed. But that's not the start Oddity were hoping for. You'd have to feel not. But that's fast trade from Vars And quite an explosive one at that. Stomping around. Brought back to the two versus three. That was very beautifully done there from power plays. They flushed him down the exit stairs and right into Mangoes. But Vast, he's managed to put himself in a bit of a sneaky position on the roam. They just cannot lock down his position. And it looks like they're not even trying to use their utility for it. We are going to see the Maestro on site go down. So it is just Vast to try and retake in the one on two here. I believe already got the right start. Takes down Bundy. Control now being given. Does clear out that other side of the truck. But Ocean Man just saving it at the last grasp. And wow, what a round from Vars to bring that back. That would have been the ace if he got the last one. Quad kill with that C4 at the end. But just not enough in the end there. Good attempt though, but... I don't know. Really, this is a completely different oddity to what we normally see or a completely different power play. They're just playing out of their minds right now. What do you think it's more the case of? Do you think it's more the case that oddity are just not as set? Or do you think it actually is the this maybe new brand that power are bringing in? 
Um, I definitely think power plays are looking a lot better. Mm -hmm. Um, but then again, like I, I find it really hard to put my finger on it. Like, are they looking good because Oddity are playing bad, or are they looking good because they've actually really improved? I suppose this is one of those situations where we have to see how they're looking in a few weeks against other teams as well. So, either either way, they are, you know, playing above and beyond my expectations right now. Whether they're going to be able to continue to do so is obviously going to be vitally crucial to their progress. And I believe we're back in the garage. We are. Garage cafeteria as they re-attempt the site. And maybe this time we don't see as heavy of a roam to come through, but I would dare say that they're still, yeah, they're still going to be taking it into this. And whether power players can execute in the same fashion. I think there were some close 1v1s. Obviously, God Legion with the mozzie. Uh, up against Muesli to start that engagement out. It was a pure raw peak, and it was, you know, two foot away from each other. Yeah, well, you, you can see definitely what Oddity's plan is, but I think on this top floor, they really need to set themselves a, a different escape route rather than trying to run down exit stairs. Because mm -hmm. we saw Mangoes just sitting at the bottom of the stairs. He lined them both up as they ran right into his crosshair. Like, you know, easy, easy kills that he's just getting fed to him, so... Maybe some hatches might be opened up from Oddity. Might be a better move rather than uh, trying to just sprint down the stairs. Yeah. And this is the exact same clip. The exact same position in which Muesli was able to find that first kill. It, it's history repeating itself. And I believe it was God Legion as well who fell early. So, yeah. You can see the plan there, right? Because they're running the Moz, uh, the Mozzie up there. They're waiting for the drones to try and drone him out first. But... It's just a dry peak, no information, but they're ready for it. But Raven, he might be behind enemy lines here after we see that drone go past him. Yeah, this is really dangerous. It's going to be as well, but at least Casper gets the early info. The trade comes straight through from Mangos again. Monkey, is this just history repeating itself right now? It's fast again to clutch it out. Uh, well, he's going to have to try at least. 4v1. He is at least on the bomb site. He's seen one. That's some damage down. I think he might have actually downed him. But Ocean Man to finish things off. Manic, I've, I've got no words right now. Well, no, I've got I've... words, but you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we've got words, but they probably shouldn't really be uh, touched on just at this point. Because it is only round four that we're heading into. But, you know, that's two of the very same style of play that we saw come through from oddity with no real adaption in terms of their uh their roam up top and and power plays literally just do the exact same thing yeah it's it's a bit amateur isn't it mm. from oddity right now um just allowing power plays to clear them out like that uh like i've no idea why we saw mangoes uh Sorry, who was playing the mozzie? Was it Redolent? Uh, it just was peaking. God Legion. Yeah, just peeking the top of the, the stairs, yeah. like right where that gridlock is. Like, yes, you know, you kind of expect him to be gathering information first, but you, you shouldn't, shouldn't be taking a peek without the information. I think maybe there was, you know, there was an audio cue to come through as Gridlock did chuck down. Yes. I, I think I think that's maybe what initiated it. And maybe it was a, a bait. I don't, you know, obviously we didn't get to see from Gridlock's perspective at that point in time, but maybe there was a a certain play in that in that sense. But regardless, they can go back up to offer slash meeting, which they did win previously. And maybe this is it for them. Maybe this is it for them, but Consulate is another map that's pretty heavily defender-sided, Manic. It's um, one of those maps that because it's so compact, I suppose, it's very hard for the attackers to gain any, I like to call it, meaningful map control. Yep. Like this top floor can be completely locked down by the defenders, just spread across it. Yep. And you have to either, you know, force your way up the stairs or clear out some, some of those defenders from the windows. Oh, jeez. Not exactly the way you really want to be starting for power plays. <laughs> but one thing you, you did touch on, obviously, you know, it's it can be that uh, defensive side on the top floor. But I feel like they've done a very good job, even in that first round where they did lose, of doing their due diligence and clearing out stairs and, and those sort of positions. Yeah. Well, I, I suppose what we're seeing from power plays is great usage of the utility that they've been afforded. They are, they are using it 
to uh, maximum to their maximum ability. Simone Ocean Man going to be opening up the bank account for this round as Raven does fall down, but I'm sure all ADSs were deployed. There's a bit of live droning in toward that A site. And Casper again just confirming there are no roams, there are no lurks, there are no flanks that are going to come through later in. And look at the control that Musley's already taking. So much information being gained. As oh, but he knows, he knows that door's on lockdown, however. They really have to uh, clear out the Maestro. Casper just can't find the right angle for his frag grenade. That time it'll do it, but that... Oh, the camera's still up there. Just a little bit unlucky on that placement of the nade. But it does take down the shield, so... At least another angle they don't have to worry, worry about just yet. They do obviously have... Usually out on Balcony, who is slowly starting to gain a little bit more room. Do they have the necessary requirements to head into the side? It looks like it is just going to be Musley heading straight on in with Bundy holding the line to ensure that they can't push. And that's going to be oh. Vars taking him down. He might get aggressive here, which he has done. But too little, too late. Nice line from Ocean Man to take him down. But Ooh, okay. 1v1. No, 1v2, sorry. God Legion drops the bomb. Yeah, he's denied it from below. However, he is off-site, and there's still plenty of time for these attackers to go and grab that diffuser and start planting once again. There is the information gathering, however, so he's going to try and play off that. But he no more explosive from below, so he's going to have to shoot them through the floor if he wants to deny this one. Oh, my word. This is really nicely played from God Legion, and it just denied the bomb plan at the last second. Ocean Man now going to go for the wild plan across toward that B bomb site to put him off a little bit more. But does he read this? Does God Legion find the kill? It looks like he's going to through the ceiling. What a play to come through from God Legion in the 1v3 clutch. And that is how you play Pulse. Yeah, beautiful stuff there from below. God Legion shuts him down. You know, it wasn't all over. If there was a Claymore that he could have stepped in, it could have been an attacker win there, but he was very careful. Not going to be throwing that round away. But once again, you know, Manic, we look at it. Yeah, Power Plays have won this round. But that was a very dominant round from Power Plays. Mm -hmm. that Oddity were able to um, steal back with a 1v3. And I guess in any other case, if that's not Pulse... Good luck. <laughs> Good luck coming from that first floor back in towards top, clearing out those positions, denying the bomb plant with no information. So I guess it's one in a way that can be a misstep coming through from power plays to not completely clear the room. But at the same yeah. time, that's you know well capitalized on a, on a very smart pick. The, th the normal uh, way to play that, though, Manic, is just have someone out by the front door. Like, you don't even have to clear the room. Yeah. If you're planting in a uh, meeting room, mm -hmm. have someone out the front door below, spray open the barricade, and just make sure no one gets below to throw C4s. Like, right where Redolin is. If you're outside there, anyone standing, uh, you know, just a bit back with a gun will be able to see anyone that's trying to toss the C4 up through the floor and just shut them down with, with a few taps. So I feel, I feel like that's what power plays could have done differently and the round would have, you know, been in their favor 100%. Do you think that they took that a little bit too hastily then, trying to get that bomb down? I don't think so. Um, it was one of those things of, all right, we set up for execute. There's no point waiting around. Let's execute. Like, mm -hmm. I just, you know, we can see the strat that they had planned, but if they made that adaption of having someone below, you know, watching for any C4s, you know, they could have easily closed that one out, but... Um, you know, good strat overall, just mm -hmm. a slight tweak, and you know, you've got it golden. Raven, pretty, pretty happy to take the early info. Pull back away though, resetting and fading back into the midst. Yeah, so we see, uh, you know, already have tried Garage twice and lost it twice. This time they're going to attempt Lobby instead. So Musley going to be going for that top-down clear. There's two members for Oddity up here right now. And we'll be live droning herself as the information coming through. So now knowing that there is a mozzie, probably going to 
think that at least there is going to be one member roaming, if not two. But this is the exact Just, yeah. same. This is the position that God Legion's playing, where he had, you know, so much, you know, I don't know, what's the word? Failure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got yeah, shut yeah. down every time by Muesli. So he's playing this a lot more passively, a lot further back for now. Mm -hmm. Bundy on the kill toward Vinny. They still have that presence upstairs, but... Oh, they're planting? What? Uh, it, um, hello? Fair enough. There we go. So, the somewhat deny comes through for the bomb plant, but Mangos has taken down God Legion. There's no one on site to deny. Vast goes down. Red trying to find something through the bottom of the floor, but... What? <laughs> Monkey? I think this was uh, some, you know, great rush strategy here from... Uh... From power plays, well, not even a rush. They just, you know, do their due diligence. And they're like, all right, well, let's execute. It's a 1v4, you know, very unlikely for this to come off for Raven, especially just being on the 1 HP. There we go. Man goes to shot him on down. So, yeah, oh, you know, I just I just want to say, so power plays, take a look at the bomb site. All right, it's clear. Let's jump on in. Someone tries to deny from below. No luck. However, he repositions. Plant goes down. And Oddity are scrambling to try and deny it. And they just uh, get torn to shreds. I mean, that was just such a such a fast clear on toward that bomb site. There was no, <laughs> they didn't really take their. Well, obviously they took their time in doing it. Otherwise, they would have been caught out at some point. But that was just really quick. There was really you blinked and it was over. There's no yeah. hesitance that we saw from Oddity. A minute thirty seven on the clock, and mm. power plays are starting to plant. Do you think that that's got to do with uh, feeling the Rome presence up top at all? And just kind of changing the, the play style? I think it's more of... Um, already, sorry, uh, power plays were playing this very simply, right? Mm -hmm. So they, they knew if they want to plant in piano, which is where they started off, they need to make sure that there can be no denial from above. They, um, and, you know, we saw the one repelling on the west side, just looking into... Um, console office. So, no, no one's in uh, above, so we're good to plant. They jump in, start planting. Oh, there's one below. Let's just reposition because he's got impact grenades instead of C4. And uh, yeah, they, they just set up the crossfires and executed. That, that's, that's all it really was. So, Oddity, it's really in their hands how this one lies. Will it be 3 3 or will Power Plays have an incredible attacking start again? <laughs> All I'm saying is this is very scary for Oddity. They are, you know, down on a very defensive or fairly defensive sided map, I suppose. And, you know, they're going to have to attack coming from behind and, you know, no safety net at all. If they if they lose this series, uh, sorry, this map, they've lost the series. No, no third map in it for them. Yeah. So already Casper with a lot of information on that top stair roam by the looks and... They are playing very similar again with the Pulse. Just relaying the information toward Vast, who might actually be able to capitalize off the back of that. And there you go. It was the information handed on through. So for the first time, we don't actually see him usually open up the round with the gridlock. Instead, will fall, but Mangos on the quick trade to red. And with how low Vast is as well, not looking the greatest on that top floor. Yeah, well, it is the man advantage to Oddity, and Mangoes is also super lit. Activating so like they're trying something very similar. In fact, Bundy's just going to enter into the site and find uh, the God Legion looking the wrong way. The thing is, though, they do not have the diffuser. It is all the way out front. With a minute 37, this is where we saw him trying to go for that initial plant, but this time... They're looking to pick that bomb back up, and they could have gone for that very fast. Again, we're going to see Raven this time on that pole, starting to relay information as to where they are. Vinny's going to capitalize on it again, so great use from the pulse sensor. Casper, however, with a very nice trade to come through directly onto Vinny as they open up straight out in towards the main lobby. Bomb will be picked up, and now there's a good chance for the plant if Mangos doesn't fall. Yeah, of course, they do have to be worried about the sandwich, the one above and the one below. Mangoes is going to attempt the plant. Oh, is Raven getting distracted by this one? No, Vast will find the plant to shut him on down. So it is all up to Casper. Fuser dropped on site, of course. 
But there is still that C4 potential from below from Raven. I think, you know, that's going to shut it down if if, uh, if he doesn't get too C4 heavy. He has to wait till he's stopped and be sure he's planning. He also has to be very wary of above because that's where Vast was. Power plays have picked up the diffuse and they're going to default to the B bomb site. So once again, this bomb site can only be uh, denied from above. The calls is coming out from uh, for Vast. C4 comes up and nothing landing. Plant stopped. And oh, Casper's going to run back again. Manic, this is a bit of cat and mouse right now, isn't it? It is, but that has to be it. Surely there's not really too many avenues for Casper to work with. Will try to stick the plan. Has to stick the plan. And Raven has done an incredible job of denying from below. And a, a round that's been won in, you would have to say, similar fashion from uh, the, the one that we saw previously. Well, it was... I think the main thing we're seeing here, right, is that we're seeing power plays deploy a lot better strategy. However, they're also winning a lot more heads up gunfights. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we, we always say that, you know, you, you should be able to win with Apple gun skill. It should be 100% based on your strategy and your positioning. But the way these two teams are going at it, a bit of a dog fight, th yep. that's important. And it seems like power plays are coming out on top of that for the most part. So two rounds have been saved by the Pulse. Well, one in particular saved by the Pulse. That one maybe not so much as there were still two players left. Vast, obviously, on the 1 HP from that early engagement. So how well power plays attack this, rather defend this <laughs> in the... At attack the defense. How are they going <laughs> to bring it on through? Mangos leading... The frags, but only just with the vast on the back side of eight. It's a yeah. lot better. A lot better than what we saw in that first match. You know, this week compared to last week, it really seems like Raven is struggling a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if it's if it's a bit of a fair comparison to make. Um, you know, they, they were up against Acme last week, weren't they? Was it, yeah. was it Acme? I believe it was Acme, yes. Yeah. And I, I, I think that Acme play very aggressive and a lot more, um, I don't know, aim heavy rather than strat heavy. And Raven was having so much success. Um, and I think now that we he's come up against a team that is focusing on strats along with having some fairly decent aim, he's getting pretty well shut down. Now, this is something that we didn't really see come through from Oddly at all, which is going to be that echo play. Do we think that this could be a, uh, a bit of a game changer for power plays on this first defense? As I said, Echo's not really a very common pick up here. Like, they, you know, they are doubling down on it with the Maestro. So, you know, very similar plant denial kind of utility. Um, I suppose it just depends on how we see them play it. Ooh, yeah. Echo Drone discovered after the Thatcher Grenade knocked it down from the sky. So, you know, he's, he's down one uh, Echo Drone already. Now, one thing we didn't see as often from... Oddity on that defense side was that exit stairs kind of presence actually on the staircase. We saw him usually play from inside bath, but yeah, toilet. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> no, no, I think he wanted it to bounce on the windowsill like that. It was um, not through the window, but on the windowsill just to avoid okay. any of the ADSs, but I don't think it was... Done quite right. God Legion Ooh. will find Muesli. Oh, this could be pretty cheeky. Oh, oh gets the down. That's and the Echo off the board, so no impact for him. So already Echo and Jaeger going to be taken down. Oddity playing this one really nicely to start with. However, Mangos can still have that huge impact that we have seen from before. Obviously, Maestro still up and can deny the headshot angle was there for Casper, but they can't capitalize. Mangos with a close shotgun play. Just tries to hold onto the staircase for one more second. The Nitro Cell is going to come out. The timing might be there. It is as well. God Legion goes down. Brought back to a three versus four, but the HP and man advantage definitely in the favor of Oddity. Yeah, Mangos also saw that frag grenade fly right past his vision. So I don't even slowed things down. They're really having a lot of trouble with these exit stairs here. Like there's going to be another one to try and take the one v one here from Oddity. They 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 really need to clear him out. 
That is finally going to happen, and that's going to be the insta trade coming through. It's all onto Ocean Man, who brings it back into the one verse of two. So this could be a little bit dangerous, but vast. Nice shot. Yeah, very cheeky, cheeky angle here. The pixelist of pixel peaks. Damn. That's a land angle, son. That is a nasty land angle. So, do we see a swap? No. Fair. Fair enough. Yeah, they're going to try and force it out once again. And we saw there, right, we saw Oddity really struggling to take, take control of meaningful map presence, right? They, they were trying to just brute force their way up those exit stairs or yellow stairs. They, um, you know, spent a lot of utility and eventually they were able to do it, but it cost them a lot of time, a lot of manpower and a lot of utility. Data Runo. So, don't know. Did we see the castle in that first round just now? I don't think we did, did we? Uh, no, we did. I remember um, Casper taking that peak on the head shot. I remember, and he oh, went down was to one HP. Was yeah. two. Yeah. Just didn't see the barricades where they were placed. I don't think. Well, I, I didn't see them, so. Yeah, well. You know, they obviously didn't have much impact in the round then, did they? <laughs> <laughs> nope, apparently not. Um, this time will we see a similar kind of presence on exit stairs? It looks like Muesli might be pretty keen to. Yeah, definitely. They're going to probably put Mangoes here again with the shotgun and the C4, and he's he's just going to, you know, hold it till he dies. Just play the close angle. Play Juggernaut. Well, what are the ways to clear someone out from there, Manic? I suppose you could have everyone just bum rush him at once, or five of his. <laughs> like, a shotgun, yeah. you know, into a mob of people isn't going to kill everyone, but he might get a two-for-one special. Yep. Well, I guess it's what, what are you willing to... Are you willing to risk that? Are you willing to allow them to have control of exit? I guess that's that's the question. Um, you know, we can see all the uh, grenades getting tossed on in the flashbangs to burn all these ADS systems. Okay, so Vast has got the information on his drone. He's definitely just holding it down, isn't he? Oh. Yeah, he's not really looking to uh, get too aggressive. Holding onto that tight angle of stair. The, the very first flight from that top floor. Oh, he actually is somewhat aggressive in this position. He fades away and does get caught out. Will he die? Surely Mangos is still alive. He was how? pinched in. How? Like, how is he still alive, Monkey? <laughs> what? He's, he's played it so smartly as well. He knew that the frag grenade would be following up, so he pushed forward to avoid that toss. Of course, he did run into um, the God Legion downstairs, but he wasn't able to... Uh, he was able to get away with his life intact. Of course, he is very lit, but that's exit stairs given up. Well, at least it's exit stairs given up, but Mangos still alive, so still impact to come through. And they can now turtle maybe a little bit more. Casparino, oh, denying it. Very nicely done as well. Might even be able to deny it once again if he decides to push on through, but they do have the access from exit hall. Nicely done from Vast to take down Muesli. In the meantime, Casper's being dropped and... Angos is looking for this flank right now. Do they know? They're 100% they know. Both players now getting distracted from the same angle. I think at this point they just need to hold the flank. No point uh, chasing him vast. However, we'll do that. So it is uh, Ocean Man and Bundy. The two anchors on site with the ACOGs going to try and play at range. These attackers, have they got the information as to their positioning? Can Ocean Man hit a nice shot? As was previously. That's going to be the diffuser dropped as well. I believe that's dropped all the way down. Making yes. it straight back up. Bundy taking down God Legion. This is looking really good for the defensive side. The aggression from Ocean Man catches him out. Just not going to be able to control the spray. But it was so close. Will he be able to deny the bomb plan? It looks like not. A 1v2 and trying to spray wildly through the wall to deny the plan. And also the secondary player. The reload is going to take its sweet time. But now can start to work with... A 1v2. Look how lit they are. They just need to be blown on. There's the first oh! one. Oh! The second one. He can. Ocean Man, what a round. 
to bring back the one on two clutch the five on two rob that's insane holy moly that is i mean so well played from ocean man as well to not waste time and get aggressive while the second teammate actually took a lot of the attention a lot of the firepower away uh, that was Whew. intense yeah. big energy from ocean man there All right, so Oddity, sorry, power plays going down to garage. Well, they're not going to take the Echo Dell. No, just going to be taking the Pulse. So, you see the Kaid. Do you say Kaid or Kaid? Well, you can say either, I suppose. Potato, like, potato. Is, is, yeah, sorry. <laughs> potato, potato. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say so. Like, yeah. Um, I suppose we'd have to get the, you know, the designer's input on exactly how it's pronounced. But I'm, you know, I've heard it said both ways. Mm. He's from Morocco, so. Um, I mean, how would they say Cade in uh, Morocco? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to take a stab in the dark as to that one. I'll because uh, I, I just hear it said so much and, and so differently on nearly every broadcast around the world. It's like, yeah, whatever. Just just say whatever. Everyone knows what you're on about. <laughs> you could just call him Electro Claw Man if you want. <laughs> Electro Claw Man. I like that. I'm gonna from now on Electro Claw Man trying to clutch out in a one v two. That sounds so nice. Sounds, sounds like, like a, a superhero. I was literally, you, you beat me to it. It sounds like a superhero. <laughs> it's uh, meme worthy, I'll tell you that much. So, to set on up, it is now Oddity again looking for an attack. And the pulse that had so much effect in that first half in two unique rounds for Oddity is now being picked up on the side of power plays. Yeah, getting used up against them, isn't it? Certainly is. But, you know, they've got the information now, which is step one for power plays, but now they have to, you know, act off it in the right way. So step two, you know, it's, it's not once you've got the information you've won, it's got the information you have to play off it correctly. Looks like the garage will be opened up easy as you like. No, no real contestion from the Cade or the Cade. Electric Claw. <laughs> Droning as well to give themselves the room to move. It's going to be the secondary charge being used from Thermite and little to no hesitation at all. So, Casper just being stuck in behind. Oh, I really like that place. Yeah, I, was, I, I couldn't figure out what was going on then and then I saw as uh, our wonderful Observer Sky. Thank you very much. Yeah. Excellent view. Well, pretty totally strat this time from uh, power plays, isn't it? No roamers at all. I say that, and Bundy is stuck in the bathroom here. Like a rat cornered, I'm sure Bundy will find a way to fight his way out of this one. Not the nitro cell to boot as well. Are they even aware he's in there? That's that's the question I want to know. I really don't think so. I don't really know whether whether Bundy's shown any presence whatsoever. So this could be a free kill to come in, and he'll be able to drop down straight away to bolster that bottom site defense. Two members starting to clear on through. That's Vinny taking down Casper through the flooring. Just on the other side of the wall. 30 seconds left. Time starting to run a little bit thin here, Monkey, as we get down to the wire. Yeah, well, there's God Legion with another one. They have no idea Bundy's here. He's waiting to make his move. Looks like Vast was holding the angle onto the bathroom, but... Yeah, they really have to move quickly oh. here, don't they? Ocean Man, nice shot, but Vinny to trade him on back. Here comes Bundy. He's in behind. He knows they're planning. Oh, he's going to see... <laughs> be seen on the flank by Vast, and God Legion to find Mangoes is the last one. Um, potential there, but I think uh, Bundy needed to move just a little bit sooner. Holy pre-fire, Batman. Yeah, very, very nicely done on that last kill. But, I th yeah, like the positioning was good, 
but there was just no impact to come through that entire round. Obviously, they know that the hatch is clear. I guess that's one point to make. But the problem is, you know, Bundy, by the time that they'd actually made their move, he'd had no little to no impact other than the small little uh, clearance of that hatch, which Oddity, unfortunately, just weren't going for. Had that have been the play, had they have been trying to put presence there and trying to press from above, it could have paid off. But we do head back to Cafeteria Garage, of course. Bandit this time being deployed instead of the Kaid. Yeah, so are they going to try for the bandit bounce, the bandit trick? I'd say, like, you know, bandit tricking on this bomb site, unless you have control of piano, and even then, it can be pretty well impossible. Mm -hmm. There are some angles from rappelling outside where they can shoot through the floor right at the bandit, so it's a pretty tight spot to try it from. But, uh, you know, if if uh, Oddity don't do their due diligence, um, he might be able to get one or two thermite charges. No real other hard breacher. It's all up to Thermite, and if Ocean Man can use his magic, work his magic rather, it might just pay off. But again, we will see. I think that's going to be Bundy staying up again, denying the, the hatch access. Touched on before, didn't really have that much impact in the previous round. And maybe this time. Maybe if they can deny those thermite charges it might be the play well they of course do have a thatcher as well so that's bandits direct counter but you know if he can pick him up put him down ocean man in the with the correct timing he, he might be uh good for it see red doesn't want to throw the thatcher right away when there's only one bandit charge down right because that's you know one utility for one battery he's gonna wait till he starts trying the bandit trick or such clear up out above and you don't even have to chat waste any more thatcher grenades i just want to say this would be a nightmare to clean up i'm just looking at the paper everywhere yeah <laughs> like that janitor is not going to be happy anyway moving on from the janitor <laughs> they are starting to clear out with those drones and mute obviously with the jammer to give him the room to breathe but he might actually get stuck because I believe that Oddity will probably expect a similar play. Yeah, well, you know, he's... The idea is if someone's trapped in the bathroom like that, they've got a shotgun in your face, and I believe he would have had the hatch opened as well. So if he needs to quick get out of there, he can. But the idea is he's going to, you know, want to take two or three with him. Well, he is... Right opposite. Maybe if they hold the line to the hatch and put the pressure on to Bundy, they might be able to make it work. He is starting to hear Buck with the opening, and of course, the drone not being able to get any further than the mute jammer. If they do come in and destroy that, then obviously the corner will be stuck for Bundy. And the question is, how long can he hold them off for, Monkey? Well, he's got a shotgun, so that's the kind of weapon you want at close range. They did spot him out on a drone, however. Yeah, as we see, Bandit Trick not successful, seeing as Piano was in control here of Oddity. And Bundy's going to stick himself back in that other corner we saw him last time in. One for one trade so far. Usually on a God Legion, oh. on the Casper, and there's that shotgun. <laughs> Does so much damage. And much more aggression that time as well. You could see he was looking for that fight, and that might have just completely turned the tides as it's going to be Mangos to shut down to Vast. Going to walk down the stairs right into the open arms of Ocean Man. And that was just a, a, a lot different from what we saw in the previous round. Oh, yeah, 100%. Beautiful stuff here from Power Plays. You know, they are looking like the much better team overall, I must say, but it is 5 5. So if we want to avoid overtime, one team's going to have to win the next two rounds. Otherwise, one apiece, and that's where we're going. And just for a reminder for those watching, obviously you do have the graphic up on your screen, but it is it's one round into the uh, one map rather into the favor of power players. So they're literally right up against it in taking a 2-0 against Oddity, which the community vote and also our vote as well was heavily swung into the favor of Oddity. Yep. Look at these Ooh. kills, Ocean Man. 14. Mango's 12. 
Casper, just the two, but you know, you don't you don't really have to be you know, oh you need to be fragging out more when you're winning that many rounds. We saw one for Oddity as well was a vast on 13 himself, so he's not far behind. Now, so far it has been one apiece on that top floor. However, the problem is the one piece that power plays won was a two versus five monkey. It wasn't it wasn't like a you know a really decent kind of a uh, hole. Yeah. Well, they're bringing out the pulse this time with the shotgun. It's it's something that you know I've only really seen Bundy do himself. Again. Of course, this here was the main contested area, the uh, exit stairs, yellow stairs, whichever you want to call them. <laughs> I think they're going to really try and do this a lot quicker this time. Oddity, he's uh, of course stuck in the corner as per usual. Going to try and waste those ADSs and then get the uh, frag grenades down in, into his lap. Then he's starting to clear it. Once again, like you said, yellow exit stairs, whatever you wish to be naming, Mangos is going to be playing to once again apply the pressure. This time, some early clear to come on through from the Capital, but it's not really going to have too much of an impact. And Yep, yeah, once it's expired, he's straight back there. Very early. Oh, he's getting smokes. aggressive. Oh, wowzers, monkey. Some very early smokes deployed to give him the room to push on down, but God Legion read that one perfectly. Heard the footsteps coming and held on tight. Now, Casper getting droned on out. Actually decides to stay in position. So maybe they don't expect this here, Oddity. Eventually, he will be completely droned out. He will back away. As Oddity have, I would say, firm control of that north side. Yeah, it is definitely firmly in their grasp, but now they have to springboard off and start executing. Five on four, so they do have the man advantage, but, you know, we've seen how much that can mean sometimes to power plays. Not much. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the question for Ocean Man, does he step up in this exact same position? Habana... Now starting to find the angles. Toilet. This Casper's just waiting for that initial peak to come on through. So there's going to be the deny on the Habana charges. Just manages to get it off in time as well. And that's all of Habana charges breached. Yeah, 30 seconds. And uh, we're going to have to see how play Sorry, Oddity try and bully their way into the bomb site. There goes Redolent with the diffuser. I'm going to cross on in and start the plant behind the couch. C4 is going to come on over, but that's nowhere near. Got Legion to find Musley downstairs, and Ocean Man's been down, but here comes the push here from Bundy. He's denied the plant. It is all up to Casper. 1v4. He's found one. Diffuser's starting to get planted once again, so Ocean Man will get picked on back up, and Diffuser will be confirmed. Definitely decides to go with two instead of trying to deny, and... The positions, the crossfires that are already being held by Oddity, are they too strong for them to work with? Of course, one player repelling on the outside window. It's still going to be holding Habana. Raven finds the kill as Habana. And Casper in a one versus three. I don't know whether he's going to be able to make this work. He has to try and find that player on the outside window. He's going to have to stick it at this point. Waits for the player to peek. It could have been perfect timing. He just can't find the kill, and Vinny will shut it down. So... I really haven't been too convinced from power plays on this second floor, Monkey. Yeah. Um, either way, they're going to have to attempt it again unless they want to try a second, a third choice bomb site. Lobby press room. So it looks like that's exactly what they want to do, Manic. Mm-hmm. They know, yes, they've won it once, but the once they won it was off of a two versus five clutch. Yeah, they can't They can't really, you know, go back into it. I think that that's... I personally think that it didn't look strong enough or even nearly convincing enough. So, that's okay. They've heeded the warning of their own self-interest and 
So it will be Capital. <laughs> Six pick Capital. Now, this is crucial. Last round of map number two. Do we see overtime or do we see Oddity take it to a third? Well, our third map, if we get there, of course, is Coastline. So, uh, definitely another map that both teams are intimately familiar with. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a third map, but at the same time, I'm feeling that power players have got this. Like, uh, <laughs> yes. like, they've just looked so convincing across the whole series, especially map one. Map two, of course, they've been struggling a bit but they're you know a lot of their rounds were on point and then of course they had a, a few clutch players here or there so i think their players are definitely feeling it today and that could be it some mornings you can just wake up feeling all right you can feel like you've got the uh the weight of the world on your shoulders but it feels like you know a feather <laughs> and definitely looks as though they have been so confident so doc's going to be picked up and this is going to be a similar top floor hold and roam that we saw from oddity that did not pay off yeah they definitely really struggled with it didn't they mm. now uh bringing the dock here obviously they just want an acog i feel like uh echo would be a better pick overall he has a very similar gun of course it's just the silenced version of the mp5 so you can take an acog and then of course you can set those yokai drones up on site as just stationary invisible cams so um, but regardless, it can come down to preference and Doc, of course, can come in pretty clutch if he needs to revive himself at any point and is able to do so. So obviously with this top four presence, it is going to uh, force them to have the top down kind of look. And look at that, straight into the basement floor to go for a bit more of a different look on the flank. Usually holding onto the side in between as well. You see uh, Vinny go down early as well. Vinny being dropped, obviously, as the buck. They've been able to use that quite decently as well, but Bundy will fall to Vast, who's in a very advantageous position for that secondary fight on Muesli, does back away. And they've cleared out the top roam completely. Now the problem's going to be a minute left on the clock. They do have hatch control. I'm going to start getting a little bit of a wriggle on. 4v4 as the time ticks. And God Legion. Shoulders. It's faster again. Starting to get the information. Opening back on through. Fast will be able to access that. A bomb site has God Legion live droning for the rest of the team. The question is, can power plays hold this? A lot riding on the shoulders at this point. Raven starting to open up the floors as well. That's going to be a lot of control given in toward that A site. They might just be able to go for the quick plan here. Red is looking for that exact position. As the smokes come out, the executes in. It's looking really nice from Oddity here. Ocean Man just sprays wildly. Muesli goes down at the hands of Vast. This is looking so good. It's Mangos that manages to find Vast on the outside. It's Ocean Man again. Raven can't get anything done. And Mangos now has control of the top floor. He will be able to see down from the outside. It's all on to God Legion in a 1v3. He will find the first. But ladies and gentlemen, overtime is on the cards. And power plays... They are not done yet. By the way, my poor monkey boy has just had a power outage. So I do apologize if I take over the stream for a little while. This is now going to be the Manic Show. As we do wait for that gorgeous human being with that gorgeous Mo to come back in. But that's alright because there is plenty to discuss, plenty to talk about. An overall back and forth matchup so far. Power plays with a very nice final round. The execute looked so good from Oddity, but the adaption to come through, the push out on towards Balcony from Mangos to find Vast. Ocean Man holding down the A side, and then Mangos again to take complete control of that top floor. What can Oddity do to change this one up? We head to Cafeteria and Garage now. 
And this is a site that I really think has seen all that much success on the defensive side. I think we've seen one round out of all of them go the way of the defense. And 16 kills for Ocean Man. Mangos on 13. 15 across the board from Vast. Just look at the assists, though. The 10 assists on Vinny, I think it was. Ridiculous. So, again, they are going to set up for a very similar look with Mute putting a lot of pressure in towards the toilet position. And, of course, with the early, rather with the easy escape route. It's going to be quite heavy presence on the site, which is something that Oddity weren't really taking forth with their defensive side. They had, of course, those two roamers up top, and both times they were cleared out. But of course, they're not on the defensive side, they're on the attacking side, which obviously going for that garage open with Thermite and Thatcher playing hand in hand. It's a little bit of the Batman and Robin. Of course, Bandit is there for that Bandit trick, but we've already seen an attempt twice now from the defensive side to deny it, and it really hasn't paid off. So at this point, you'd probably have to feel like it is going to be the free control given. We'll have to wait and see whether Ocean Man is quick enough on those hands as Mangos this time is on Maestro. The early Bandit to come on through. Thatch up. Making short work of the utility placed down as they do go top down. A lot of control that they can start to take. It's fast that's really leading the charge in this front. Still again, the mute remains. This time with a little bit more of a heavy presence from Oddity as they start to clear him on out. They know that they kind of have to if they want to be able to put the pressure from multiple angles, but Bundy just holds onto the line. Slow clear. And it looks like my ocean, my man, my monkey fist is back. How you I doing, am. mate? <laughs> How do I sit? Is, is my headset microphone getting picked up? Yep, certainly is. That's all right. Yep, I'll take sweet. us through this final round, and then we'll sort it on through once you've, uh, once you've fixed yourself up. So... Raven yeah, the... uh, I'm very sorry for that. Are you sorry for I can't me? control. I can't control the weather, unfortunately. <laughs> don't, even, <laughs> don't even worry about it, mate. It's completely fine. We're currently down to 50 seconds as of now in what is round number 13. It's a 5v3 in favour of the defensive side. Finally, Raven is going to be able to open up the wall so they can go for the defuse, but... Rather for the plant, Ocean Man just on the back of truck is there purely to deny all access as God Legion now has to come through yellow stairs. Slowly clearing up. Look at the smoke, the timing, the placement is so damn good at this point from the defensive side. Power plays are really starting to put the pressure back on Oddity. I don't know if they've got the answers here. It's going to be Mundy playing. From the deep side, the flash is coming on through. It's not going to do a damn thing. I don't know whether they've got any time left. And they do actually manage to push on in, but Ocean Man finds two for his name. Zofia will just get the charge down in time, but a 1v3, surely the pressure is going to come through. There's no way that she's going to be able to win this after the bomb plant. And the free kill to come through for Casparino as we do close it on out. It is going to be power plays picking up the first round of overtime. Nicely done from the power plays, boys. As I said, I think, you know, they might have this one in the bag. Um, you know, I can kind of feel it. Um, but yeah, as, and unless Manic didn't tell you guys, my power's going out. No, I don't like worry. I, everyone knows. It's all good. <laughs> I got you. The weather down here in Adelaide. <laughs> I might um, just try set up uh, uh, my webcam as well, so I might be not listening for a sec. But yeah, I'm on the laptop on the hotspot. It's uh, going to be something I have to deal with. So give me a sec, guys. That's all right. Are you uh, caught up with the timing? Yeah, I'm in time. Perfect, yeah, perfect. Just a tiny bit behind, but that's fine. That's all right. We'll uh, we'll make do. Make the uh, what is it? Make hay while the sun shines. I got you. It's okay. Hello, monkey. I can see you. No one else can see you. So it that is. was really weird for Twitch chat right now. Hearing me say hello. <laughs> it's really dark in here. So. Just do something like this. <laughs> Tell me, tell me um, how yeah, he I'm goes, Mr. Roboto. 
All right. So, round number 14. Power plays one away from closing this out. Oddity, now head to the second floor, monkey. Yeah, second floor. What was it? They didn't really have a great record on this uh, bomb site, did they, Manic? I'm just having a look. It was the pulse play that won them in the 1v3 on the second time they tried, but it was the first yeah. time that... Uh... Oh, actually, no, no, they picked up both. Oddity picked up both rounds, I believe. On the... Oh, yes, they did. Yes. Yeah, sorry, I was yes. thinking of power players up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, this is the, uh, the site that's seen a lot of success from Oddity. And I would dare say, I mean, I'm just spitballing here, but I think we're going to a 15th round. Yeah, I, you know, based off of on previous history, I'd have to agree with you there, Manic. But I, you know, I really am feeling that power plays do have this one in the back. Yep, sure thing. Um, so... Two and a half minutes on the clock. Reloaded. Now, of course, this top floor is so hard to take control of, or at least, you know, a part of control of. There's plenty of free spots downstairs, however, and the attackers sometimes have to work off of that. Redolent knows there's a drone nearby. Yes, he's going to find it. Spray's coming in as well. So Redolent is uh, feeling the pressure starting to get to him. And it uh, looks like Oddity have completely given up Visa as they did uh, previously. Mm -hmm. They attacked here. Sorry, admin. Just a little Scanning. There's that pulse again. <sighs> so damning on this map so far. It's been a real striking force for Oddity's defensive side. And I would dare say that pivotal point is probably going to continue now as control is slowly being taken of that A site. Doorway is open. Musely fires a kill on the God Legion with the clay mine. And the Hushin Man shuts down Vast. This is looking like we might see power plays close this out, Monkey. Oh no, it's all falling apart, my friend. Oh, it definitely is. They're going to have to dig deep here, the remaining members of Oddity. Angos. Already got the line to Yellow Stairs. I don't think there's anyone on that top floor. There's no one here. And with Pulse down, there's no real chance to deny. They're already holding on to Yellow. Oh, no, the staircase is being held by Mangos. There's no sort of entry to come on through. They will be able to try to pre-fire through the bottom of the ceiling from Raven, but the bomb's going to be stuck. Five seconds left. And this is it. A two versus four. Oh, no. See you later. Well, I'm a bit behind you now, Manic, so... Is that GG, is it? Uh, it's almost GG. It's Raven on 2 HP. I've got you for the end of this. He will be coming up from Spiral, but my goodness. The timer is already half ticked, and it looks like power plays are setting themselves up for another successful map. And Raven, what can he get done? Can he find himself a kill? No, he can't. GG's across the board as power plays take it. 2-0 in the first best of three of the day. Wow, monkey. Wow. Wow, indeed. Um, it's hella dark in here, so I don't know if you're going to miss. That's all right. I'll, I'll try and... Oh. But yeah. What can you say? It was a, a dominant performance from uh, the 